Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a plus a plus a divided by square root of a is equals to a and we solve this problem for all the values of a. So here we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last uh, we need to verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So now we move towards the solution uh, from first method and in first method, uh, uh, we just uh, first focus into the denominator term and we move this denominator term to the right hand side. So you see here this term is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by a. And from left hand side we need to uh, add this a by 3 times so when we add a by 3 times we need to add the uh, coefficients of a okay so you see here the coefficient of all of these three a's is 1 so when we add 3 times it will becomes here 3 a is equals to here when we move this square root of a to the right hand side it is multiplied by a and it will become here a times of square root of a and in the next step uh, we need to remove this square root sign from right hand side so in order to remove this square root sign we need to take scaring on both of the sides so after taking scaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form and now here uh, we apply this square separately on both of these values and it will become here 3 square multiplied by a square. Similarly here we again apply this square separately on both of these values and it will become here a square multiplied by square root of a and its whole square. And now we simplify the terms and we get 3 square becomes 9 times of a square and this is our a square and these two and this square root are gone and we will get here a only and in the next step we have this is 9 times of a square is equals to this is a square multiplied by a is equals to a cubed and because here our target is to find the values of a so that we move this 9 a square to the right hand side this is the positive term when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative and we write it as a cubed minus 9 times of a square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these two terms involve a square so here we take common a square and when we take common a square we get the remaining value from here is a only minus and when we take common a square from here we get the remaining value is minus 9 then this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a square is equal to 0 and the second case is we write a minus 9 is equal to 0 so from here we easily get the value of a is equal to 0 this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we need to move this minus 9 to the right hand side and it will become here plus 9 so this is the second root of the given equation so from here we get these are the two roots of the given equation and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is this is these roots be the solution or extraneous root so for verification of the roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and it is a plus a plus a divided by square root of a is equals to a so here in this side we will be verify a is equal to 0 and in this side we will be verify a is equal to 9. So here uh, when we substitute a is equal to 0 into the uh, into both of the sides of the uh, above equation it will be written as uh, the when you put here it will become 0 plus 0 plus 0 divided by square root of 0 is equals to 0. And now here uh, you know that when we add 0 with 3 times it will become 0 and the square root of 0 becomes 0 equals to 0. And now here you need to focus into the left hand side and you see here this will become 0 over 0 form or usually it is called that it is the uh, indeterminate form. 
so if our left hand side is indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is undefined so if our left hand side is undefined it means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal uh, this concludes that the value of a is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so we call that a is equal to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root uh, and uh, here uh, we conclude about a is equals to 0 be the it is the extraneous root so now uh, we move towards the second uh, value of a so the second value of a is equals to 9 and now here we will substitute this value of a uh, into the uh, both of the sides of a given equation so when you put this value here it will become 9 plus 9 plus 9 divided by divided by square root of 9 is equals to 9 so uh, here you see that this is 9 plus 9 plus 9 becomes here uh, 27 uh, and this will becomes 27 divided by here we know that square root of 9 becomes here 3 is equals to 9 and here you see that this is 3 times 9 becomes 27 and you see here 9 is equals to 9 and uh, here uh, both of the sides are equal when we choose a equals to 9 uh, so a uh, so this means that uh, the value of a equals to 9 is satisfied our given question statement so we call that a equals to 9 be the solution set of the given equation so this is the final answer of this question uh, which we get here from first method and now here we again solve this problem uh, for second method uh, so uh, in second method uh, first we need to copy down and uh, given question statement here so that uh, our uh, given question statement in second method is a plus a plus a divided by square root of a is equals to a this is the our given question statement and in the second method we need to first uh, sum up these three values and when we add a with three times it will becomes here three times of a divided by square root of a is equals to a here we use uh, uh, the nice rule uh, you know about that if we have uh, some x uh, we write this x as square root of a square root of x multiplied by square root of x so um, according to this rule uh, we rewrite over this a as in this form so we write this a as square root of a multiplied by square root of a and it is divided by square root of a is equals to a and now you see here this square root of a is cancelled out by this square root of a and we get the remaining values are three times of square root of a is equals to a and here in order to find the values of a we need to take a squaring on both of the sides so when we take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form and now we apply this square separately on both of these values and square of 9 square of 3 becomes 9 and square of square root of a becomes a equals to a square and now here we move this 9a to the right hand side and it will becomes a square minus 9a is equals to 0 so here we take common a from here and when we take common a we get the remaining values are a minus 9 is equals to 0 so from here we get a is equals to 0 and a minus 9 is equals to 0 uh, so this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of a is equals to 9 this is the second root of the given equation so from the second method we will get here these are the two roots of the given equation and in the first method we already verify that both of these two roots are uh, in the first method we verify that a equals to 0 be the extraneous root because it is not satisfied of a given question statement and a equals to 9 be the solution of the given equation because it is satisfied of a given question statement so this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos